let me introduce you to the concept of success. Ben Franklin was a pretty smart guy, and I want to start with a quote by him. If you do tomorrow what you did today, you will get tomorrow what you got today. You want to know what that means? The average American makes between 3 and 5% more each year. That's the deal. And in today's economy, I'm not sure we're going to make the 3 to 4 to 5% next year as employees. So it takes you 20 years to double your income in America as an average person. That's the mediocrity that we're stuck in in life. And then you meet people who have the uncanny ability to double their income in a year, to get promoted five times in a year. The ones that beat the system, the ones that conquer it. You've all seen them, haven't you? The difference between them and the ones that don't do that is that they wake up in the morning and they think differently. They understand that if I do tomorrow what I did today, I'm going to get tomorrow what I got today. Again, we all get knocked down. In every aspect of life, we get knocked down. But the question is, how do we respond to a setback or get up from a knockdown and win a fight? You've heard it said many times, you can't know success until you've known failure. And the great motivators will tell you that your past does not equal your future. Let me tell you something. If you want to blow up, blow up by getting to know who you are. Wake up early in the morning and find your goal, find your dream, find your passion. Like wake up and, and live for something. Go after something. I'm telling you, that is the true measure of success. Most people fail in life not because they aim too high and miss. Most people fail in life because they did just like I did for so many years. They aim too low and hit. I was born in a poor section of Miami, Florida called Liberty City, in an abandoned building on a floor with a twin brother. My mother was a 22-year breast cancer conqueror. So before I leave the planet, my goal is to reduce the number of women who die from breast cancer in honor of my mother. My goal before leaving the planet is to reduce the number of kids that are impacted by autism, to find a cure for autism, to work to raise money and to raise awareness, to eradicate it from the planet before I leave here. What's your goal? What's your dream? What is it you want to do with your life? I said that you have something special. I didn't say that just to be kind. I said it because it's true. You are God's chosen vessel. You were chosen one out of 400 million sperm. You have something in you that when you were chosen, when you showed up, there's something in you that if you don't do it, all of us will suffer. So that's why you go to the basketball games. I got it now. That's why you spend hours watching your favorite athlete, right? Right? Because when you watch them, you watch them. There's something about you that's attracted to that greatness because there's something in you that's great. So that's why you watch them because it's easier to watch him reach greatness than it is for you to put in sweat, blood, and tears to become great. That's why you, that's why I got it now. That's why you buy all the magazines and you look at that home girl in the magazine, right? I got it now. Because it's easier to look at her and, and, and get motivated and pumped up and you feel something inside. What do you feel? You feel that greatness and that phenomenal you stirring up. That's why, that's why you put those headphones on and you just shut the whole world out and you listen to your favorite artists. You're listening to them sing or you're listening to them rap and, and deep down inside, you hurt when you listen because it should be you. I got it now. I understand now. You are attracted to greatness because greatness is all in you. But it's easier to watch greatness. It's easier to go see greatness than it is to put in the time.